we order a $600 custom inlay job? An eight string base with graphics like that? Maybe it even costs close to a grand. Maybe, actually maybe, it's not an inlay job. Sure looks like it though. Maybe it costs less. Maybe it costs only 30 bucks for custom graphics on your fretboard. Maybe someone figured out a way to add graphics in under 15 minutes in the comfort of your own home with a method that doesn't affect tone or playability or damage the instrument. Is that even possible for guitars? What about fan fret guitars? We surely can add custom graphics to those, right? Maybe we can. I present to you Neck Illusions. So this is my eight string bass and I refer to it as the broom because all I do is sweep on it. All kidding aside, it's because this instrument kind of looks like a goddamn broom, kind of bland. And so decided to give it a facelift. These are decals from Neck Illusions. Okay, number one, remove the strings. All right, got all the strings off. Step two, clean. All right, the fretboard is pretty dry now. I have to get the decals attached. It's pretty simple. There's no air bubbles and stuff. All right, just got done with the 12th fret halfway there. All right, so I am done. Check this out. This ain't no broom no more. Uh, there's different designs. You can custom make them. You can order them. You can even put your band logo on there. You can do whatever the hell you want on them. So check it out. Neckillusions.com Here's my bass with the Neck Illusions. Neck Illusions actually contacted me and they said, dude, it's awesome that your bass doesn't look like a broom anymore, but now it just looks like you stabbed the cow with it. So they decided to sell me another design. And I told them that I was gonna be doing a cover of a piece called The Moon. I thought it would be kind of cool if they sent me some kind of a moon theme type stuff. So they did. So we have a moon themed Neck Illusions, but I paid 30 bucks for this. Like, I'm not gonna just get rid of my cow design, but these are reusable. Peel them off and then stick them right back on the original packaging and I can use them again later on. So take the strings off, take the decals off and put the moon theme on. So here we go. All right, the strings are detached. I found the original packaging. I thought I lost it, but I found it. So I'm gonna start peeling the cow design off and putting it back. Comes right off that it sticks right back on showing that there's no gunk or residue on this at all and it's still sticky all right so everything is back onto the original packaging now let's go to the moon now just to point out some difference between this new design and this design the cow design well, it's not a cow, it's a bleach design, but whatever. This design that I pulled off right now is a gloss finish. The new design they sent me is a matte finish. What they tell me is that the matte finishes look better on camera because you, you could probably see it here. A lot of light reflections going on. In front of the camera, you don't want all that light reflecting back at you. So I got the matte finish. So once I put these on, I can also tell you that if there's any difference in playability or tone that I notice. I mean, the feel definitely feels different. This one definitely feels more like, uh, like an ebony. This feels, 
uh, like a like a Stratocaster, there is a slight difference of feel. More slick, less slippery might be the best word. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on and let's see how it looks. And we're done. Actually looks pretty good. Let me uh, flip it over. I was thinking that it's not gonna look as good as like glossy design, but I'm actually liking this matte design too. It actually looks better on camera with the matte design instead of the gloss. No weird reflections or anything. All right, let me restring now. This actually doesn't look that bad at all. I thought that uh, it wasn't gonna be, <laughs> I thought that the glossy design was gonna look better, but this actually looks pretty cool. Hey, Elon, guess what? I beat you to the moon base. All right, let's see how this fucking thing sounds. I'm actually recording this two months after I filmed all that. I've had a good month with the gloss finish, the cow design, and two months with the uh, matte finish, the moon design. So I've been able to spend some time with both neck illusions. What's the difference? Well, initially I didn't really notice any differences in playability, but occasionally with the matte design, I noticed I wouldn't slide as easily as before. The best way to describe it is it took a little bit more effort to glide up the strings, especially when doing slides up above the 12th fret. Uh, this issue is very minuscule, but it is something that I did notice, so I'm just mentioning it. As for myself, I'll be switching back to the glossy design because that had a slicker feel and I had no slide issues. As far as the tone goes, there's no difference in tone. I'm sure if you're a dolphin or a dog, you might notice some tonal stuff, but I mean, it's that insignificant. Hey, this is all good, but what if I have a 9-string or a 32-string mega unnecessary guitar harp bazooka? Or, hey, I have a fan Fred guitar. Can I still use these neck illusions? And the answer to that question is, yes, you can. If you have an exotic instrument like I do, send them an email through their website. Give them some measurements on how wide your neck is, the scale length, and all that stuff. If you have a fan fret, let them know and they'll actually send you a PDF of two scale proof that you can print and cut out to see if it actually lines up with a fretboard. And if you're a cheap bastard like me and you want to save the resale value of your instrument, it might not be a bad idea to put these on to protect your frets. So that just about does it. To review, no, there are no noticeable tonal differences. Minor differences in playability. I recommend the gloss design, but on camera the matte design will look better. The decals are easy to put on and take off and doesn't damage the instrument itself. You can customize your design, so if you really want that solar guitar, but you don't have the cash for it, well, not saying you shouldn't, but you get the drift. All right, that just about does it. If you like what you saw, just make sure to push the like button, subscribe too, because that affects my motivation to do more shit like this. I'll hopefully be posting more playthroughs soon, so see you then.